What's going on everybody? I'm out here working on a project and I have an opportunity to show you how to use the cut shapes feature and save a project from bad wood. So hang on tight and let's take a look. All right, so here's my project and everything was cutting out beautifully. And then I've got this. So if you look close, you can see these burn marks that are a little bit more intense. And sometimes you can even see like right on the surface, there is like a clump. Um, this is all because of knots or a glue streak. I mean, this one literally is a streak that you can see go all the way straight through the edge of this project. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you how I manipulate the design so I can run just this section right here over and over and over again until it cuts through. So a couple of tips to make sure that this works for you is one, don't run and pull your wood out right away. Make sure everything cut first and then when it didn't cut, you still have everything in the same spot as when it was cutting. And to not move your laser head or at least have an origin set so that way your laser head can return to that origin and continue the cut at the same path. So let's jump over to the laptop and get it done. All right, so here on the laptop, you can see this is my design that I have highlighted and I created this blue rectangle. It doesn't matter what color it is, as long as it, you know, it's a rectangle that covers the section that you need to fix. So mine is right here. This is where it missed all of those cuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and then I've got my project selected. So it's all grouped together and then selected. Then I'm going to hold control and then select that other box. So you can see that now. And then we're gonna go into our tools and then down to cut shapes. So now you can see that this right here is not moving. So you can see all these other lines are marching like little ants, this one's not. So now I've got just those lines that are separated. So I'm gonna turn everything else that's still selected onto a T1. So that makes it a tool path so it's not going to cut. Now I'm going to go and select that whole project again and we'll look at the preview. So because I turned all of those into tool paths, other than the parts that I cut out, you'll see that it's going to go and just cut these little lines over and over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay. And then I'm going to send the project over to the laser. Okay, so now I have sent my laser head back to my origin that I have set and the project is loaded and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit my start button and let it run. And you'll see it's gonna go ahead and it's just bouncing just to those spots that I need cut again. And I'm gonna go ahead and just run it one more time And then I can see some of these, these pieces are now dropping out. So that's a good sign that I'm probably free and I could pull this piece out. So we'll go ahead and give it a little hook. And there we are. Pretty much all of our pieces are free. We just got one little guy down here. Okay, and there we go. So all the pieces are free and I didn't have to go and just recut that whole project again and I saved time by just being able to hit those quick spots using the Cut Shapes tool in Lightburn. I hope that that quick real life demonstration of the Cut Shapes tool and one way that you can use it was helpful. I use it all the time doing this exact thing because I'm using some of this cheaper plywood that sometimes just has big old nasty glue streaks and crap that doesn't want to cut. And no fault of the laser, it's just the material. So I hope this was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.